With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is, initially the reactions in the container A and B are at equilibrium when the products and reactants products and reactants are put together in container C then at equilibrium total number of different compounds are so this is container A and what is the reaction in container A N2 plus H2 gives N H3 and in container B N2 plus D2 gives N D3 so when these reactants that is reactants here are N2 and H2 and in container B N2 and D whereas product they are NH3 and ND3. So when these reactants and products are mixed together in container C, the total number of different compounds we will get is what we have to find. So first let us write the different compounds in container A. In container A, N2 is present, H2 is present and NH3 is present. Right. In container B, N2 is present, D2 is present and ND3. So when we mix these compounds, what happens? In container C, we will get N2. N2 is common both in A and B. After that, H2, D2, NH3, ND3. As ND3 and H2 are present in the same container, what happens? This, so this deuterium can be replaced by hydrogen. When one deuterium atom is replaced, we will get ND2H. When two deuterium atoms are replaced, we will get NDH2. Then with ammonia that is NH3, where hydrogen will be replaced by deuterium. And we are going to get the same compounds. So other compounds are ND2H and NDH2. And one more compound is possible. So this hydrogen molecule, one hydrogen will be replaced by deuterium. So we will get H D. So this is the last compound which is possible. So totally how many compounds we can get in container C? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So look at the options. Option A 5, option B 7, option C 6 and option D 8. So option D 8 is the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.